In part of the celebration for Zelda's 30th anniversary, Nintendo's released new Amiibo. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, today is December the 2nd, 2016, kind of known as Zelda Amiibo Day, I guess, with four new Amiibo figures. There's more coming next year for Breath of the Wild, but these are the ones released today. Right now, I'm going to focus on Toon Link and Toon Zelda, which I'll unbox. The other two I'll unbox in a different video, but I did get them, so stay tuned for those. Hopefully those videos are coming today or tomorrow. So let's take a look at these ones right here. I like this box packaging. It's kind of cute that these are a pair and they're packaged together. I do like that aspect. So it does say Zelda 30th anniversary up here. Toon Link Zelda from the Wind Waker, which is a little bit odd, of course, because we already have Toon Link from the Super Smash Brothers series, but they released him again. I don't always mind because collectible Zelda items are always awesome. However, I do think Nintendo is obviously profiting off of Zelda as much as they can. So on the back here, it says Adventure with Amiibo in these compatible titles, including The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which it does say right here as well. So that will be coming. This works with Twilight Princess, Super Smash Brothers, and Hyrule Warriors Legends in this case is what they're kind of advertising for this. All right, so let's actually open this up, take a look at what these Amiibo look like and compare them. At least let's compare Zelda and Link to their counterparts for Super Smash Brothers. Now today I must mention these ones I went into Toys R Us and the one that they didn't have a lot of was the Ocarina of Time Link. I think the individual in the Toys R Us that I bought these from said that they only had two more on the shelves, one of which I bought. And I went in pretty early in the morning when I just had the opportunity to do so. So essentially these guys are hopefully going to be able to be found for Christmas. If you're looking to get these, these would be a great stocking stuffer. And of course the two pack is more expensive than the individuals. I'm not sure if these are ever going to be released individually as well, but let's just take a look. All right, popping them out of the packaging. The bases of these look really, really quite wonderful. They're the same base, I think, as the Toon Link Amiibo. Sorry, as the Wolf Link Amiibo. So you can just see here, I do have that one. And the base does have that Zelda emblem on it with some different stylization. So let's just take a look at these ones. It has the exact same base on it. That is kind of hard to make out. I'll see if I can get a good angle with the camera. That's probably the best angle you can get for it. So that looks really nice and detailed. The base is kind of like a goldish, really dark, putrid green gold color on the base. I don't like the base color that much, but at least the emblem on the bottom looks fantastic. He looks absolutely wonderful. I love the design of the Toon Link Amiibo. He looks really happy, actually. And I like how he's using the Wind Waker, actually. He's using the baton to kind of conduct the wind. So let's just rotate him around a little bit. Take a look at that shield from Wind Waker. It's one of the most simplistic shields, in my opinion. It's simple, and it does the trick, but I like the other shields, actually, a lot better from other games. And the design of him is very cartoony, of course. That's just what it was in the game. But at least it looks like the wind is actually having an effect on him. That looks really, really neat. I just want to give you a quick comparison to the one from Super Smash Brothers. So this one looks like he's a lot thinner. His head looks smaller. His entire body looks a little bit smaller. There's actually a lot less detail work in his belt. His pants look like they're less detailed as well. I think overall, his body looks less detailed. The shield, just taking a look at both of those. The new one looks like it's more white. The old one looks like it has more of a silver aesthetic to it, or silver coloring to it, which is a little bit different. Of course, the hat looks different and the hair looks different. So his head almost looks like it's more detailed on the new one, but all of his clothing is less detailed than the previous one. In terms of height, if you were wondering, the new one is a little bit taller. He's obviously standing completely straight up. In terms of inches, for all my friends from the United States, it's about 3 inches for the old one. The new one is more like 3.25 inches. And then if we go in terms of centimeters, for me and the rest of the world, the old one was 7 centimeters tall, and this new one's roughly 8 centimeters tall. I like the new one. I like the new one a lot. Probably I like the new one just because you can see the face a bit more apparent. He's not as down, basically. He's a bit more angled up, which I do like about this one. So I think that one's a little bit better, in my opinion. Now let's take a look at Toon Zelda, in this case. So first of all, because I'm just holding the ruler already, in inches, Toon Zelda, Zelda is 3 inches tall, and that means it's roughly 7 centimeters tall as well. All right, just going to put the ruler to the side. Let's take a good look at Zelda. Now her dress does look quite detailed. This does look pretty good. Obviously, it's the cartoon style image of this character, but it does look pretty awesome. I like the dress. The dress does pop out. The pinks look bright. There's a little bit of detail work around the bottom of the dress, as you can see. Her hair again looks stylized as if it's blowing in the wind the opposite direction to Link, which is kind of interesting that her hair is blowing this way to the left and his hair is going to the right, no matter how you put it. Her hands are out at her sides. 
I think they make a pretty cute little couple, basically. This would be a great Christmas gift for anyone who is a Zelda fan. Of course, you can also scan them into the games. So I do really recommend these. I like this, Zelda, this link better than the previous one. If you want to compare the different Zeldas, of course, they're completely different because this one's the realistic version and that one is the cartoon version of the two characters. So they do look remarkably different. You can't even really compare them. Their dresses look different, even a different color for them. So these ones, I would, I think they're really cute. Cute factor, 10 out of 10. However, I think they're a little bit simplistic. There's already released a Tomb Link Amiibo, but I do think these are great for any sort of collector, so I would recommend them. Overall, I'm probably giving these, if I really need to give these guys a score, they look a little simplistic, probably an 8 or a 9 out of 10. They're still really great for any Zelda fan, but because of the cartoon style, they are a little bit more simplistic than some of the more intricate Amiibo figures like Zelda from the Super Smash Bros. series that has a lot of intricate details on it. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below. What do you think of these two Amiibo figures? Also, stay tuned for my unboxings of the Link from Ocarina of Time and the Link from The Legend of Zelda, that is pixelated version. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.